Hey everybody, my name is Noah King. I'm a senior software engineer here at Horizon 3 AI. I want to give you a quick glimpse of our new phishing impact pen test. So um, I've already had it set up on my screen. If we look over here on the left, let's just think about in general phishing and what the current approach is uh, to phishing out there. A lot of times we're using phishing provider tools. Uh, we create a fictitious login or some kind of email to trick the user to click on it and to interact. And then at that point, the user becomes fished and it's reported back to that tool. But you really don't understand what would have been the environmental impact if a user was actually fished in the real world. Uh, so now Horizon 3 is able to bridge that gap and correlate a fish user to real impact. So over here on the left side of my screen, I have a fictitious company called Encryptologic. And uh, let's just imagine different perspectives, right? Every time um, somebody is getting fished, they might have a different role. They might be on the IT help desk. They might be in HR, the CEO, or even a domain admin. So depending on who you fish, depends on your results. Um, and this gives you a great perspective. So the first one I'll type in, Let's just go ahead and pretend that um, Ethan is being fished. Uh, so we're going to say Ethan at encryptologic.com. Ethan is an intern and he goes and he fills in his password. And the interesting thing is you can control these login pages. And all you have to do with Node Zero is insert a phishing script, JavaScript snippet into the HTML. Once the user falls for it and clicks submit, they get an incorrect login credentials, sign in again. This is just an opportunity for us to collect multiple password variations and trick the user. Uh, we've seen a lot of research that users fall for it multiple times. Um, let's also add another perspective. So Ethan was a intern for IT help desk. Ava is an HR. So Ava gets fished as well. And then maybe one more other person, Michael, who is a domain admin. Michael fell for it. He thought this was the login to you know, a company login, uh, one of their crown jewels, and he logs in as well. As we start entering these credentials, you'll see them pop in real time in the node zero real time view. Uh, we can already tell that Ethan has been a fish credential. And so as Ava, we'll eventually see Michael fall in here as well. During this, you can actually see uh, credential for the user Michael was compromised through a successful phishing attack, Ava, and then Node Zero tries to exhaust that credential as, um, all throughout the environment. I'm going to go ahead and just swap over to a finished pen test of phishing to show you the results at the end. So right when you look at the summary, we can see that Ava had access to 40 data resources, 34 assets, and also had write access. See that Michael was a domain admin. 471,000 data resources. Ethan, the intern, three data resources, 33 data sets. So you can start to see what credentials lead to what. Uh, additionally, you can go in and you can filter by fish credentials. You see all the downstream impacts that led to impacts in the environment because of a credential. There's many different ways to slice and dice the data. You can also filter on weaknesses um, and see all the weaknesses involved and you can drill into the fish credentials from there as well. So if we drill into APA, we can see more details, the obfuscated password, uh, proof, the attack graphs, and all the related data that Ava had access to, including help desk, HR, admin, different things. Uh, that's a brief glimpse. If you want to give it a try, go ahead and reach out and uh, do a free trial or contact our sales team. Thank you.